Hey everybody, Aaron Blaze here, and it is Tuesday, the Tuesday after New Year's, or a week yeah, after. Week after yeah. New Year's. But uh, I hope you guys had a great Christmas and a great New Year's holiday. We're in 2019. I can't believe that 1999 was 20 years ago. Yeah. Is it really? I partied like it was 1999, <laughs> 20 years ago. But uh, you might high school uh, is this year actually too because I graduated back in '09. Oh really? That's your twenty. Your... Is my is my ten year? Oh, your ten year high school reunion. Right on! Wow. So... Wow! Time flies, man. Right. Yeah. Holy crap. Well, anyway, we've had a great holiday. We've uh, uh, visited family, had a great time, and now we are back to it. And one of the cool things we're going to do today is uh, we're going to demo a new product. Um, I want to I want to make sure you guys understand I am not getting paid any kind of uh, royalty or anything like that. Um, I'm doing this because I really love their products. And so today, Wacom has come out with a brand new Wacom Cintiq 16. It's kind of an entry level. Um, it doesn't have quite all of the bells and whistles, but it's got enough that I think it's a really great product. And coupled with their new pen technology, the pen, uh, the Pro Pen 2, which is 8,192 levels of, uh, um, sensitivity uh it's really really great and so i am demoing it today you can see i've got it in front of me as you guys know, know that normally i'm working on a uh a 27 inch and this is a 16 inch so it's definitely smaller but one of the things i've found i've already tried it out and i just absolutely love it um this is going to be my my new on the go cintiq display i can hook it up to my laptop and, you know, as you know, I travel all around, all around to give lectures, and it's really difficult to, if not impossible, to bring a Cintiq. So we always try to make sure that somebody on the other end has a Cintiq, but that's not always the case. And so often I'm using an Intuos, you know, tablet, which isn't, for me, ideal. I like to work on a screen. So this is going to be my new on-the-go screen. It's, it, it's going to fit perfectly into my bag. And like I said, along with my laptop, that's all I need. And we're good to go. So we're going to go over this today. And, uh, and I'm going to do some drawing. And, and uh, we'll demo it. And, uh, and we'll take questions from you guys. First thing I want to tell you, first of all, if uh, it's still, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's not cheap. But it's not, it's not super expensive either. It retails for $649. Which I think for the size of the display and the quality that we're getting, for me personally, I think it's a really good price. Um, and then there's this optional stand that comes on the back. There are legs on it that keep it at about a 25 degree angle. Um, but there are legs, or, or it's a stand that you can attach that I've also got. Um, that's an additional $79. And that really gives you an ability to bring it up and down. And so that's what I have working right now. You can see the, the angle that it's at. So, but before they go any further, I just want to mention, um, as usual, he's had a great holiday. He's back from the holidays. We've got Dustin Blaze. Hi. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Good to see you. Uh, my, my trusty, dusty son. Yep. And then uh, also in, uh, in Sarasota, we've got Nick Birch, my business partner, fresh back from the holidays as well. And he's going to be answering questions and uh, and getting us through all this. The other thing I want to mention today, because we are kind of celebrating this new product, if you guys are watching and you go to our website, creatureartteacher.com, if you go to the website, anything you buy, if you type in the code WACOM16, that's W-A-C-O-M-16, you'll get 16% off any order. So <laughs> that's our little gimmick for the day. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> So, uh, so for today only, if you guys are watching, put in that, that, that code. If you go to creatureartteacher.com, it's 16% off anything on the site. So uh, off the entire order. So that being said, um, we transition? want to transition into drawing something? Sure. So, oh, let's uh, real quick. Go back to the overhead or over, over uh -huh. my shoulder. Yeah. The other thing, too. So I just want to show you real quick. So there, one thing they have... Uh, you can see there's a little tab here. They don't, the, the, it doesn't come with the little stand that a normal Cintiq has. Or and carrying what, case. Or carrying case. But what they do have is this little tab that goes in the side here. And I'm not sure, does it go in both? Yeah, there's one on this side too. 
where if you're left-handed you can I think it yeah yeah it goes in that side as well so you can put it on an either side but what's cool is in the stand that you used to get that little stand um, when you'd open it up it had extra nibs in it and so I thought well we, we lost the nibs well no we actually didn't they're right here in the back what it's kind of cool yeah there's little nibs right here in the back if you need them so they're right there you just gotta push them through there's three extra nibs right there pretty cool okay that is clever it is I, very I, clever you didn't tell me about that earlier yeah I know I uh, just discovered that myself so that just that little piece just goes right into the side right there mix right into place also hooking this up super super easy there's the uh, the power cords so you hook it into your power and that's that and that's fine once you have the power hooked up then there's just two two more cords that you have to hook into uh, one is your HDMI the other one is your USB plugs right into the computer and boom you're good to go and it was literally that quick all, all three of the wires merge into a single cord that goes into the back of the uh, exactly of the exactly so. yeah that's the other thing they all merge into one wire one plug that goes into the Cintiq super easy and uh, and then what you know obviously you have to get the latest driver and so make sure you have the latest driver because one of the things I did right up until like five minutes before we started this I hooked into a different computer and I forgot that I had uh, hooked into that <laughs> driver and I sat down to draw and there was nothing was happening I had a nice image but I couldn't draw I was like what's going on and I started to panic and I realized oh wait I forgot they installed the driver mm -hmm. so we got the driver installed and uh, and everything and just working like a charm so uh, and one of the things I, the, the biggest thing that I discovered with this is um, the there's two things for me one is the pressure the number the number one thing for me is this pen uh, the pressure sensitivity why I want to bring that my image ended up up there there we go the pressure sensitivity is absolutely incredible and uh, it's I was told by one of my friends over at Wacom that um, they're like it's, it's, it's gonna blow your mind and I thought okay that's fine but my my pen already has I don't know the one that I have now the it's like 2500 levels of, pre uh, of pressure it's like how can I detect any more than 2500 levels of pressure I just thought it'd be overkill well I sat down and I started drawing and I have to tell you, I instantly noticed a difference. And when I say instant, I mean instant. It's incredible how lightly I can just barely touch this, and it, which my other pen does not do this. And I'm just barely touching it. And just like a pencil, it, it just barely makes a little mark. Or I can go nice and hard and create that. So right off the bat, I've noticed this incredible uh, range of pressure sensitivity that's just amazing. Um, actually, I got a YouTube question I'm going to interrupt. Is it normal to have two styles, one for a really detailed art piece and a simple art style for animation? Yes, I, I, have, I have several different styles for me personally, so I, you know, don't worry about having different styles. But back to the Cintiq real quick. Um, the other thing too is uh i don't know if you can see can you can you go to the to the really? camera yeah to the webcam i it's, oh, it's not going to focus on it right there there anyway i've got the i've got the, the the little black stylus or the nib inside the stylus and i never use those nibs because they feel way too slick on the screen but can you switch back now dustin mm -hmm. With this new, uh, they have a film on the glass now that has got a texture to it. And so when I draw, it feels like I'm drawing on paper. It's really, really awesome. So I haven't changed out the nib. The other thing, too, obviously, is that it's non-glare glass. So it, it, um, you're not seeing your reflection, you know, back at your face when you're trying to draw, which is great. And... Uh, uh, and then the, there is a little bit of a, um, I did the unboxing video and for me, I don't know if it's the same or if I'm just being, if I'm just being hopeful, <laughs> but
but I don't see much of a parallax. They say that there is one, and I see a little bit of a parallax, but not, not much. Um, and they're pro models. This is not considered a pro model because they've kind of stripped down some of you know this is this is not it's not a 4k screen this is a a, a 1080 screen um but because it's still it's 16 inches i really don't notice it because it's all kind of compacted um so that's one of the things but um i uh you know on the pro models and the new pro models the parallax is pretty much non-existence when you touch your your stylus to the screen, it you see it, it's touching the image, which is pretty cool. I actually have a, um, a personal question here about, yeah. about that Cintiq. Um, so we all have, you, like you and I use Cintiqs and all that, and the one thing that we have on our on the Cintiqs is the usual, like the dials and the extra buttons on the sides where you can program certain things like zoom in or uh, to grab, but this one doesn't have any of those kinds of buttons on the sides. Um, how do you implement that? <clears throat> yes. That so this doesn't have, and, and it doesn't have the remote that comes with it. Right. So you use your hotkeys. Hotkeys. Yeah. So I'm using hotkeys on everything. So um, on my computer keyboard right here, if you, uh, can you go to just, just the down shooter? Yeah. Uh, there we go. Yeah. So if I want to move it around, I just grab my space bar and I can move it around like so. If I want to go bigger... I can hit my command plus and minus. You can see that. If I want my brush to get bigger, I can hit it that way with my brackets and left and right brackets. So I use my hot keys and I, there, there's nothing. And, and basically, if you had your keys set up on your Cintiq, like in the old versions, you would just be programming your hot keys into that anyway. So basically, they've cleaned up the entire screen and it's really just the screen is t taking up all the real estate now. And you just use your hotkeys on your keyboard. And for me, I didn't even think about it. I didn't even notice that because I use hotkeys a lot nowadays, whereas I didn't before, but I knew now. And um, and so I uh, I didn't even notice that I, I wasn't using anything here um, because or on the sides because it was I'm already on the keyboard. So, a separate remote would that come with would that work with the uh with the 16? you know what i don't know i've never i've never checked because you know they have this separate version where it's the remote with the yeah and all that. yeah so you know what i don't know that one i do not know but uh i gotta tell you I, i'm 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 really digging this um oh it says you can also but the remote it comes with the pro separately and it will work with this unit okay, okay. So, so you can get a, a, a remote yeah so uh, once again, I want to remind you guys, if you're just new coming into this, I am reviewing, I'm demonstrating the brand new Wacom Cintiq 16. It is not the pro version. It is just an entry level. I call it entry level. And entry level, and, and you know, to me, that's kind of a mis... It's a, it's a misnomer. It, 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 it's, it's the low end of their Cintiqs. But for me, this is a very high end way of getting in you know going for, you know, making that graduation from a tablet that you might be using you might be using an intuos or some other brand of tablet and you want to move up to a screen to me this is our pen display this to me is the perfect way of doing that 649 dollars now i know that still sounds like a lot for some but for for a, a great pen display that's a really great price and at 16 inches you've got a pretty good amount of real estate to work in um I thought it, you know, I'm so used to working on a large screen. I work on a 27 inch. Um, I was afraid that 16 was going to feel small and it doesn't to me. It feels great. It feels like I'm working on a decent sized piece of paper and I'm drawing and, uh, and obviously we can blow up and, and, and shrink and, and do all that stuff. So for me, this is a great size. And like I was saying earlier, it's really great for going, uh, for travel. If you do a lot of travel, if you're working remotely, if you're, if you, whatever you might be doing, I do a lot of work remotely. I do a lot of lectures around the world. This is a perfect, this is going to be my new tool that I'm going to be taking with me everywhere I go. It's a fantastic uh, setup and I can, I can set up in England. I can set up in Japan. I can set up in Brazil and I've got an entire pen display set up at my fingertips and I don't have to worry about someone else on the other end getting it set up for me. So that's great. And um, the other thing, too, is if you 
uh, go to our website, creatureartteacher.com, because we're doing this demo today. Uh, put in the, the code WACOM16, W-A-C-O-M-1-6, and you'll get 16% off your order. On, on anything on our website, creatureartteacher.com. Um, so in YouTube question, does that mean you'll have to change your drawing process since you'll need to push down harder to achieve the same kind of lines as your previous tablet? No, that's the thing. I am not pressing down harder. It's just detecting a lot more pressure sensitivity within the pressure that I already use. So I'm not pressing down any harder. I'm just, it's just much more sensitive. So I, it's basically, I can go much lighter and get very subtle, very subtle little hints. You can see, just barely see how light I'm touching and it's very, very subtle. Or I can go really, really hard. Okay, so, but the, the subtlety of how light I can touch it, that's where I'm really impressed. I haven't had to change my drawing style at all. And plus you can change the uh, sensitivity settings uh, in both Photoshop. As yes, well as yes, you can settings. change your sensitivity settings. But let's, uh, what should I draw? Want to make it a viewer's choice? Um, I'm going to do a cat. Meow. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> meow. Meow, meow. Let's do a character. Let's do a character. I, I did. I did, was drawing some uh, lions. Um, big stretch, right? <laughs> but I was drawing some lions uh, from life over the holidays at a place called um, uh, Big Cat Habitat in Sarasota, Florida. And um, and uh, I really love those cats. So I want to just kind of maybe do a little caricature of a cat talking. And so I was asking uh, earlier, we were talking about Cintiq. Is there such thing as a bad Cintiq? <laughs> there's no, so, no, in my mind, there's no such thing as a bad Cintiq. It's just different price ranges. Oh, can you still do animation on a small tablet? Absolutely, yes, you can. And uh, I don't have a plugin right here, but I would, uh, yes, yes, you absolutely can. I'm just going to move this around. Hello, hello. I was asking maybe an alien cat. <laughs> no, I'm just going to do just a character. Just a little posh. Hello. Uh, how much memory should I have on a small CPU to make it work without glitches? Uh, what are the specs on that, Dustin? Do you, do you know off the top of your head? Uh, the specs for the, uh, to use the Cintiq? Yeah, so it doesn't glitch. That I don't know. Nick might be able to uh, type that in. Is this close to uh, size of 16 field animation? Yes, it is. It absolutely is. And I'm sorry, um, we'll find out about the, uh, the requirements. Well, usually, um, the higher end the CPU, the, the better, because that's the, the main processing power that the... Uh, I think they're just wondering what the what the uh, minimum is for their yeah. laptop. Uh, the minimum is um, I personally use it uh, Intel, so I would say like an an i5 can can do well. Uh, if you want something better, maybe a low lower end i7, um, and at minimum of at least 16 gigs of RAM. I personally think at minimum 16. Nick. Uh, we'll definitely have some answers for that as well. So here I'm just doing a quick sketch. And I, like I said, I'm really finding the sensitivity of the pen just super, super cool. I want to I extend that snout out to see what it looks like with a longer snout. And how does this antique uh, tablet compare to the iPad Pro or the, iPad or the Apple Pencil? Um, or with Apple the sensitivity, I think, is a big part of it, and um, and obviously the iPad works on its own. It's its own little computer, 
this needs a, a to be hooked up to a computer. But that being said, um, the uh, the pen sensitivity is just through the roof. Yeah, so you just mainly need the Apple for portability. But if you already got a laptop, then the Cintiq would be. Better, yeah, but you need the the one thing you have to. This needs a power source to plug into. Right. So your this Cintiq does not have a battery. It definitely needs a power source. Mm -hmm. But if you're like in a whole hotel space or something, and you, and you have a this is amazing for for yeah for a hotel. Yeah. Or if you're doing a presentation. Yes. I've never drawn on anything electronic, uh, all old school. Any suggestions for switching up? Yeah, I mean, if you wanted, if you want, just want to kind of dabble in that world, I would suggest trying a, uh, uh, you know, one of the tablets, like an Intuos or something like that, and um, and just seeing where you know, seeing how that feels. The only problem with a tablet for me that I've always had is the idea that you know you're drawing in one place. And uh, and your hand is in one place and your eyes are on the screen, and so that that was always a little funky for me. Um, but uh, it, it's not impossible to get around, you know. I was just I was kind of an old dog being taught new tricks, <laughs> but uh, I've seen a lot of people that adapt to it perfectly fine. Actually, I want to turn that ear a little differently. And somebody added. Uh added something uh, when I was talking about the uh, the specs. Um, so he says, I use a 13 HD with an i7 16 gigabyte, works perfect. I found out that a faster uh, hard disk drive or HDD is better than more RAM, like an SDD or solid state drive uh, will make a lot more difference. In okay. Which that is very, very true because solid state drives makes things a lot faster than hard disk drives. In my own personal experience. Right. Good. Good. That's good. That's good to know. <laughs> so I'm going to bring him up here. The pen sounds a bit scratchy. How's the feel on the surface? Oh, it feels great. The, I guess, well, it, it's, it's sounding scratchy because the mic is literally on. <laughs> it's like, it's right, like on right there. <laughs> but um, what you're hearing. I, I don't hear the scratchiness. You're hearing it because it's right next to the mic. But what you're hearing is that grit. There's a tiny little bit of grit texture that they've put on this film that they've put over the glass. And it grabs... It's, it's enough to make it feel like I'm drawing on a piece of paper. That's what's so cool about it. Okay, that's, that's just a horrible hairdo. That's just... <laughs> Let's come up with something different here. Rarrell. I kind of like his character. Maybe we go a little. Maybe we go a little brighter eyed, a little bigger eyed. Is this smaller than your last one? Smaller than my last one. What do you mean? The, the Cintiq? Yeah. Well, yeah, this is definitely smaller. Yeah, but I'm not sure. Talking about the portable one, like the Pro that we that we carry around, or the one on your on your desk. If it's on the desk, then yeah, definitely a lot a lot lot smaller. Yeah. Than, uh, than that one, but. So I'm saying it's the Elvis Lion. <laughs> the Elvis Lion. Elvis Lion. Oh yeah. <laughs> we got to win this race. Lemonade. <laughs> that cool refreshing. <laughs> oh, you got a YouTube uh, quote. All right, I've seen you draw Simba, Nala, and other various lines. What about Scar? Have you ever drawn him? Have I ever drawn Scar? No, you know, I don't know that I have drawn Scar. Um, I never, I didn't draw him in, when we were working on the movie. I drew adult Simba, I drew young Simba, I supervised young Nala, um, 
but I never got a chance to draw Scar. Did you ever draw any of the uh, Lion King characters in your uh, on your own time, like uh, afterwards? Like I know you drew um, Young Nala. What was it last year? The realistic uh, style. Uh huh. But have you ever drawn any of the other Lion King characters as well, like that? No. I have not. You have not. So I'm going to have him walking forward. Today is Elvis's birthday. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, is it really? Is it really? El today is? January 8th. That's really, that's really weird. Man just blows my mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm wondering if this, uh, if this or the smaller Pro 13 Cintiq would be better as the first Cintiq to move on to after the Intuos Pro. Okay, so my this is my 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 opinion on that. First of all, I think this is cheaper than the 13. I I recommend going with this only because I think I I personally feel the 13 for me, for my tastes is a little small. And so um, you know, if I can get something a little bigger like this, then I think that's better. And, um, and I got to say, I, I've worked on the 13 and I'm, and I'm working on this now. And it, to me, it's a huge difference that three inches really makes a big difference in drawing, you know, real estate. I'm thin out his jaw a little bit. Hello. Hello. Uh, what screen protector do you recommend for the 22 inch uh, Cintiq? Screen protector? Yeah. Uh, I have no idea. I don't know. I still don't like that eye. Um, I'm not, I don't know of a screen protector. Do you not know? I just am really careful with it. Today's also David Bowie's birthday. Is it? Yeah. Wow. It's everybody's birthday today. Wow. Oh, David. Oh, David. Yeah, now I'm I've completely buggered up his eyes. I want that expression to be right. Uh, for the newcomer, how's the uh, uh, the surface texture like? What does it feel like? So this, that's one of the things I love about this. So for you, for for those of you just tuning in, once again, I'll go over it again. Sorry for the folks that are. Uh, Ten times later. Yeah, that's all right, but I think it's important. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I'm demonstrating the new Cintiq, uh, Wacom Cintiq 16, which is kind of their entry level. Uh, I say entry level, but I, I say that loosely. Uh, uh, Cintiq line. And um, the texture is awesome. I really love it. And the, the pen sensitivity, it's their new uh, Pro Pen 2. And the pen sensitivity is like nothing else I've ever used before. I've never used the new this this new uh, pro pen yet. Wow. You okay? <laughs> that hurt. I couldn't get it out. And uh uh and it's it's awesome. It really is awesome. I think that eye should be further back. I want to move the whole thing right back. Yeah, so for the person that was <clears throat> asking about Much the better. um the Cintiq Pro thir the 13 inch pro and uh and comparing that to this, uh, price-wise, you said that was a uh, that's six fifty, correct? This is six forty-nine. Yes, 649. correct. Yeah, um, I just did a quick quick search up for this in, for the thirteen-inch pro. Yeah. And uh, on Amazon, it's seventy uh, seven hundred ninety-nine and ninety-five cents. Okay, so it is. It, it's not that much more, but for me, I think this is a better 
a better experience for less money. Because it has a higher sensitivity and yeah, and it's and it's a bigger. You got more uh, real estate to more draw screen, on screen space. Yeah. How much does MT cost? We just said it. <laughs> Six forty nine. Six forty nine, six hundred forty nine dollars. I've also got the optional stand in the back, so I can stand it up the way you see it now, and uh, that is an extra seventy nine dollars. But it's a nice, very solid, uh, easy to install stand. It's just so, a few screws, and you're good to go. So in the end, we're kind of looking at like a seven hundred and twenty for the whole set for both the for the sixteen inch and for the stand. Yeah, Roughly. and the stand, you know, you don't necessarily need the stand, but I, I like it. How is the uh, color accuracy compared to, say, prints? It's great. They, Wacom has gotten much, much better with their color accuracy on their, on their, uh, on their pen displays. And uh, I have had zero problem um, with any of my Cintiqs. I, every time they come out with a new model, I try to get a new Cintiq, mainly because we use a lot of them. We have uh, a lot of people working with us. But I also, I like to, I like to, you know, if I'm going to have, I, I have, my vices are guitars and Cintiqs. I can't <laughs> not buy a guitar and I can't not buy a Cintiq. <laughs> oh, and it's also Nick Birch's birthday? Is it really Nick? I had no idea. I oh. forgot. It's Nick's birthday. Oh my gosh! I feel like a sh a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna have to do something about that, Nicholas. Happy Every birthday to you. to you. Happy birthday to you. It's Nick's birthday. Holy moly! Happy birthday, dear Nick. Nick is Nick. Do the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's a whopping thirty-nine years old today. Oh my! Yes. And uh, the Cintiq connects to the keyboard uh, via Bluetooth. Uh, the Cintiq oh, no. connects to the keyboard. Yeah. No, the the the, 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 the keyboard connects to the computer. Exactly. Yeah, the Cintiq uh, is nothing but just a uh, just a monitor. Think of it, yeah. Think of it as a pressure sensitive monitor. However, the pros, the the portable Cintiqs, you can connect a keyboard to them via Bluetooth because they're basically a lot uh, a laptop. Yes. Has Wacom sent you the thirty two inch yet? No. <laughs> oh. Not yet. No, not yet. <laughs> soon. Very soon. <laughs> so I can sit at a zoo and draw on this? Yeah, the only thing is you just need a power supply. This is does not this does not run on battery. So you will need a power supply, but if you can find an external outlet at the zoo, which you might be able to find, uh, then you are good to go. I don't remember the name of it, um, but there is a giant portable charger that uses um, not only USB ports, but also um, regular regular plug-in ports. So you can actually plug in stuff like like this on the go. Right. <laughs> Next writing. LOL. I was wondering if you'd remember. Ha, ha, ha. No, you, you didn't. Did Makes me feel like a, a shit heel. You know, a shit heel. Good deal. I said it. I'm sorry, Nick. If I was there, we'd go out and tie one on, my man. Nick Birch. It's his birthday. His last year in his 30s. He's actually completed his 39th year. He is starting his 40th year. Nick, do the thing. Wow. Mm -hmm. Nick. You're growing up, man. Next year, I'm turning 30. 
Yeah, man. Holy moly. Yeah, you and Nick are 10 years apart. That's crazy to think about. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm just tying down. But most of all, you know what I'm doing? I'm just really enjoying the drawing experience on this new Wacom Cintiq 16. Sig 16 Cintiq. <laughs> no, I do want to remind you, though, I, I, I'm not getting anything for this. Uh, I just, I really love Wacom products. And uh, I've used them, you know, for the last 15 years. And uh, I just think they're amazing. And so whenever I do get a new one, I know they, they are a little more expensive than... There are cheaper... Um, let me put it that way. There's cheaper alternatives out there. But I'm a big believer in striving to get the best for the job. And if you're an artist... Uh, and this is what you do every day, this is what I do every day, then you want the best equipment than you can possibly get. And so for me, you know, Wacom has always been the best, best equipment for me. And so that's why I'm, that's why I promote them. And so that's what I'm, I'm working on their brand new 16. It's available today. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm sorry, you guys. That's the other thing I forgot to mention. Um, right now, it's only an available in the United States. I'm sure you can get it through Amazon, uh, uh, but it's only available in the United States. It'll be available in Canada next month and the, re and the rest of the world shortly after that. I should have mentioned that. I am very sorry. I forgot about that. That eye still feels... I don't like where it's at. I keep pulling that snout I'm going to change it up again whenever I do my caricatured uh, cats I tend to pull the snout in oh yeah <laughs> yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. I'm going to yeah. pull that way down there rawr 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 this guy's <laughs> <laughs> for those of you that don't know that is from that is from blazing saddles <laughs> well, I was born here and I was raised here and god god I'm going to die here <laughs> now who could argue with that <laughs> Like, I mean, how could you? He's speaking gibberish. There we go. There's a much better nose. Much better nose. How are we doing on questions, Dustin? The lion looks like a lord. Could you draw a monocle for him? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. I was looking to buy the Companion 2. Will this make a good substitute? I need to draw on the go. Uh, well, the Companion 2, remember, the Companion 2 is self-contained. And so this is going to need a computer, and it needs a power supply. So it really depends on how you define on the go. If you already have a laptop, then, yeah, this is probably the cheaper bet. Yeah, but um, you need a power supply for this. Well, yes. So that's the that's another big that's a big thing to consider. So if if a power supply is not a big concern, you know this always is going to need a plug, some kind of plug-in outlet. Like if you're planning on like drawing for a presentation or in a hotel room or just somewhere else in the in throughout your room or through your house. Or maybe in a, a college dorm room, you know, then all those all those things work. But if you're trying to go to a zoo, then yeah, pro would probably be the better bet for portability and on-the-go reasons. Mm-hmm. 
It's all about preference. Could you give the lion, that lion moose antlers? <laughs> no. <laughs> Turn into a lion moose. I'm not crazy about this guy. I might even start over. How does this one feel um, I don't like compared him. to the one that you normally use? Does the smallness bother you at all? No, this, that's the thing. That's what I was really amazed about. Um, the smallness uh, of the screen does not bother me one bit. I thought it would, it would, and uh, it really hasn't. Um, I'm going to try something different. I'm curious to see what kind of uh, shading you can do with the increased sensitivity. And uh, Nick has a question. Does this display have touch? This does not have touch. Oh, I thought it did. No, not that I know of. No, there's no touch on this. And to be honest with you, I never use the touch. The touch to me uh, is more of a pain than it is a uh, advantage. Yeah. Can you resize on the screen? Can I resize on the screen? What do you mean resize? Like this? Like zoom in or something? Maybe? I guess I can. Yeah, I can do that if that's what you mean. Is it heavy and does it have a noisy fan? No. First of all, the fan there's no fan. The fan is the computer. The computer's gonna have a fan, but the, the Cintiq does not have a fan. And it weighs maybe two pounds. Yeah, it's very light. That's, that was my guess. Trying different trying different lions here. I like drawing just different characters. Adam writes, I love the atmosphere you guys create each episode. <laughs> well, we love doing this for you, fellas. Let's do a little pompous. A little pompous lion. So he writes, I thought you were a fan of, fan of Cintiq. <laughs> I am a fan of Cintiq. I love them. The fan, fan with the oh. <laughs> there we go. Here's a guy I like to get behind. Any references, or is this just freestyle sketching? Just freestyle sketching, baby. Just messing with it. No reference today. Let's slick that hair back. I uh, got another question. I know you answered a portion of this uh, earlier, but I'm guessing it's a newcomer. But uh, how is the brightness and color accuracy uh, of the screen? Based it, on what I see here on the small end screen, it seems a little dark, though that might be the angle as well. It, 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 it's the angle. It's not dark at all. It's really great. Have you ever made a caricature of a whale or porpoise? I have. I have. Let me see. Uh... Oops, no, that's not what I want. That's not what no, that's not what I want either. Hold on. What are you doing? I'm messing up. Let me go back here. All right, let me do this. Let me do... I don't know if it'll come up because I don't have all my, my extra... Yeah, here we go. Let's see. Uh, I did this one a long time ago. This is a, is a humpback whale for a uh, for a little project I was uh, helping out on. So there's a humpback. There was uh, 
uh, narwhal. I like the one that you did where it was a uh, well, but it was in like a mermaid form. Oh, I spelled it wrong. You know what I'm talking about? It was like a killer whale uh, design. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There's an narwhal. That was for another project. Same project. Beluga. Uh, there we go. What's this one look like? These are some old. These are old ones. Little beluga sketches. Yeah, those are old ones. But anyway, yes, I've done. So there's your answer. <laughs> uh, have you ever had uh, any technical difficulties with your Wacom tablets? Um, I've had some driver issues in the past, uh, you know, working with the wrong operating system. Uh, if I updated my, my Mac, the driver didn't work all of a sudden, but that, I think they've pretty much gotten rid of those issues. And, uh, looks like Nick's got a, uh, Twitch question. Twitch, uh, does this get hot? I know of some old ones that did. This does not get hot. There is, it's just as cool to the touch. Nothing is heated up in this at all so this is like okay, once again this is such a great um, alternative to you know the big pro versions so here I'm just sketching out I, I didn't like that other one and I just wanted to sketch something else really quickly does the Wacom 3D Pro Pen work on this and is the glass thick like the 13 HD I mean there's a slight space between where you put the pen and where it draws yeah th that's called the parallax and now and there is a slight one on this the pros uh, have a different glass and um, they have pretty much gotten rid of that parallax there's there's a slight one on here, but I don't notice it. Do you I really. Know if it's a similar, uh, some of a similar thickness. Uh, I don't I don't think it's really thick. I know I know that it's uh, really light. And uh, the and for the first question, does the uh, three three D Pro pen work on this? Um, that I don't know. This I'm using the Pro Two pen on it. It comes with the Pro Two. So here I'm just I'm just playing with shapes, wanting to find. Like I said, that last one that I was doing before, I wasn't happy with. So I'm just I want to get a little bit of a little room. Somebody suggests, uh, can you do the humpback whale dive jump in the pool? Oh yeah, well I'm pretty much a humpback whale to begin with, so of course I can do it. It might be raining. We normally would hear it, though, if it was. It's probably just leaves falling on the ceiling, on the roof. So here I'm just... All right, he looks like Scar. Tying him down. He looks like Scar because I gave him a longer nose, I think. People, it's funny how... You just change a character slightly, and all of a sudden, a character can look some like, like somebody else. There. Mm. I like to go very quickly. And you can see uh, how sensitive... This pen really responds. I just, I feel like I'm drawing on paper. And for me, that's the goal, right? I mean, you want it to feel as natural as possible. And that's one of the things that Wacom has done so well here, is they've really created a very natural feeling drawing experience. 
And you said earlier that um, that particular Cintiq doesn't have uh, touch screen? No. Does not have touch, but I don't I don't use the touch. I don't I find it I, I find that it gets in the way more than anything else, so I never use it. I thought nowadays all the Cintiqs had touch screen nowadays. No. No, not at all. That's not that's not that's not true. It's not true. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, what exact brush is that? I'm pretty sure I bought that set. Just want to verify. This is number seven in my original drawing set. My original custom brush set. This is number seven. I draw I use this brush ninety eight percent of the time for everything. It is nice. It is nice. It is nice. <laughs> Quiet, man. I like it. I, I will keep dreaming. I, I will keep dreaming. Keep dreaming. <laughs> and when I wake up, you better <laughs> hope. You better hope you're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Name that movie. No, you don't say it, Dustin. Oh, man. <laughs> you already know what movie that is. Well, I know. That's why I want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> See if someone else gets it. Twitch, uh, this is, oh, that's an old question. Wacom Pro Pen 3D will work with this according to their site. Oh, very cool. The Wacom Pro Pen 3D will work with this. Uh, where can I get your brushes? You can get my brushes on my website at creatureartteacher.com. That's my website. And today, if you put in, if you, if you, uh, whatever you purchase, Put in the code uh, WACOM16. That's W-A-C-O-M-16. And you will get 16% off of your order. And off of your entire order, I might add. And Frank Fred, uh, Fredella has named the movie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the movie is correct. It is Mystery Men. One of my favorite films. I will keep dreaming. I will keep dreaming. <laughs> My favorite character though is the shoveler. The shoveler is, is hammered. hammered. <laughs> yeah, I think my um, when it comes to the characters, like of the top three, number one is shoveler. Number two is blue raja. <laughs> the, the blue raja. <laughs> the, the blue raja. Master Superman. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, um, uh, Mr. Fury. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. Oh, I forgot I had turned it into a vertical. A vertical? Let's see what we can get out of this. Is there always a discount on, on your website on stream days? Uh, not always, but today we decided to go ahead and do it. Because we're promoting the new Cintiq. <laughs> And yes, Brooke, it is Mystery Men that we were saying earlier. <laughs> um, and this this version of Cintiq is uh, not entirely mobile. It still needs to be hooked up to a computer. Yes. And needs a power source. Oops. This does need a power source. But it is far smaller and more portable, so, uh, so it is easier to move from room to room or from... Uh, hotel to hotel. There. So we got a nice spirally feel to our guy here. Our guy. There's the guy. So it says, well, it looks more like an Asian line than an African line. Well, there you go. <laughs> well, there you have it. Uh, to celebrate David Bowie, Elvis, and Nick's birthday, maybe you could give the Lions Mane one of their hairstyles or some other characteristic of theirs. Oh. Well, I definitely would want to do it with Nick. 
I've got Nick's beard. I've kind of got Nick's... I'm, it, it's kind of looking like Nick already. Well, Nick also usually has a... Uh, uh, like Give him a, a notch. ...a ponytail or something. So, like, maybe pulling back his hair. I don't know what to tell you. I don't want to start over again, man. I don't... Don't want to start over. You will. You <laughs> will start over. But Alta says, hey, babe. <laughs> hey, babe. Hey, babe. <laughs> so, uh, Martin you can rest your hand on the screen while drawing. I absolutely can. See? Go to go to the... Uh, go to the front front. Right over there. There we go. The yes. Do the front front. Aaron, yeah, the fur fur. <laughs> yes, I, I I rest my hand on it just like I would like I'm drawing on paper. So you can you can rest your hand on it. You can do whatever you want. And Martin just writes, like uh, so. <laughs> Aaron says we don't always do discounts, but when we do, we do it now. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So those of you that are coming in late, I am demonstrating. Uh, we just came out today. They are just now available today in the United States. Next week or next month in Canada or soon after that in the rest of the world. But the new Wacom 16 pen display. Cintiq. Wacom Cintiq 16 pen display. There we go. Got it out. Got it. You okay? Yep. You good? I'm good. You good? And um, the drawing experience on this is just absolutely wonderful that's the biggest my biggest note uh my biggest pro to this is how great the pen is the pen on the surface uh, of, of this pen display is just absolutely flawless it's really great do you ever have same style syndrome and do you have any kind of process to break that routine oops yes I do have that. Um, I force myself. I, I look at other artists. I try to look at other artists as often as I can, just to be inspired. And um, but it also gives you ideas. You know, you don't have to go and copy other artists. Although I, you know, that's not a bad idea to do. You know, if you're kind of if you want to learn something new, I, I'd always a lot of times I would look at old masters and try to copy their styles, and it would teach me something, whatever that might be. And, um, and it would, you know, I would go off and my work would be different after that. Um, but even living artists, if you, if you, if you admire somebody, then kind of break through and see, see what it is that they do that is so unique, that inspires you and try to, try to emulate it and don't, don't try to copy it necessarily, but try to, you know, see where, what is it about it that is so great and, and make it your own in some way um i also get out into nature as often as i can because i'm always inspired by that there we, there we go make that 100 percent and uh so there's any number of things that i do in order to be become inspired can we see david bowie picture? lightning bolt <laughs> mm. can we see a picture of nick a picture of nick 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 nick, nick, nick. birch I don't want to show him that. Here's Nick as as uh, Willie Nelson. As Willie Nelson. <laughs> Hold on. Where? What am I doing? What are you doing? Oh, you know what I'm doing? I was looking at the wrong cursor. <laughs> Whoops. What do you do now? There's Nick. Go to the down sheet. Oh, oh, you got it. Yeah. 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 That's there's Nick as as Willie Nelson. See, he he writes. He writes the questions for me right here, so I can read them. So there you go. Yep, that's, we that's just neat. we just revealed some of our magic. What we do. <laughs> Oops. And it looks like uh, speaking of Nick, he's got a question. What will your next courses on your website be? That's a very good question. Uh, our next courses are going to be. Uh, I'm getting. I'm in the planning stage right now, of a watercolor course, and then um, I'm just going to make this kind of quick because this is really about the demo. Uh, it's a watercolor course, and then 
um, I'm going to do, and that's going to be really cool. That's going to be studio watercolor, the way I approach it, um, very traditionally. And uh, it's going to be very, very cool. Let me find this real quick. There we go. Um, so there's that. That's what that's going to be coming up next. That's going to be my next one, and I'm in the planning stages for that. And then uh, I'm going to do an animal drawing course after that, and that's going to be on birds of prey. And I may extend it to other birds as well, but right now I'm fo I'm going to focus on birds of prey. So that's exciting, and um, and then I might do another animation course after that. We've definitely got. Some fun stuff coming up with uh, Snow Bear. Um, we're still working on that. So we've just got we've got a lot of irons in the fire right now that we're trying to work out. And actually, how far down the um, Snow Bear are we at so far? Well, we've um, we're still storyboarding, and so just because we've we've been so busy with all of our travel, it's been extremely difficult for us to get anything done, and so. Uh, we have decided, there we go, to really focus on it in this coming year. And um, so that's going to be, we've got our friend Lyndon Ruddy uh, working on it with us. Uh, you, For some of you that know the course, our, our website, you know that Lyndon Ruddy is our guy that teaches storyboarding. And so he's going to be boarding it for us. And uh, I'm really happy we got him to do that. And um, and uh, we'll have something out soon after that, I'm hoping. We're hoping to have it done by the, you know, the end of the year. Do you think it is important to uh, stick with one style of drawing or illustration? No. Matter of fact, I think you grow more when you try different styles. Now, if you're worried about having a style, don't ever worry about that. Your style will emerge. Everybody worries about having a style. Do I have a, do I need to have a style? Blah, blah, blah. And your style will emerge. So don't worry about it. <laughs> what, what are you laughing at? Uh, this, uh, this comment from uh, Jenny Hall <laughs> heard that, um, talking about the lessons for the, uh, birds of prey. Uh, she's like, yes, birds! Birds are literally my favorite. How to animate birds, right? I'm literally bouncing up and down in my chair. <laughs> like, that's literally what, what she wrote. <laughs> well, Jenny from the block, that makes me happy. <laughs> it's like, yes, birds! It's all, all capital letters. I heard that you're not going to work on the new Lion King movie, uh, artwork, art book after all. Why was that? Well, they, they ended up changing it. I, it was going to, originally it was going to be, or at least when it was pitched to me, it was going to be basically the book version of the movie. And to me, that's got a lot of drama, a lot of fun. Uh, it's kind of up my alley because I, I, um, I tend to have a lot of drama in the imagery that I try to create. And, um, but as things go, uh, they had to, they ended up changing the story, the what what was going to be in the book, and it's not really a retelling of the of the of the movie. Uh, it's it's going to be more of a uh, a little adventure that Simba and Timon and Pumbaa have um, while out in the you know in the jungles and everything, which is great. It's just uh, it was a little more it was a little younger than what I was shooting for, so I chose to. Uh, I talked to the editor and they agreed that it had changed quite a bit from when I was brought on. So we decided to kind of part ways and say thanks and hope it goes well. <laughs> and do uh, you guys still plan on doing a workshop in England sometime in July? Yes, we do. We are still working on it. We are talking to Peckforton Castle as we speak in Cheshire. And uh, Peckforton Castle is an awesome place that we found where we want to kind of be the home base for um, where yeah, we're going to be teaching. Right. And uh, it's going to be a really cool experience. So we're still working it out. It's still not 100% go yet, so we're not sure. But it's looking good. 
and we'll know, you know, soon. Really excited for that. Yeah, that me too. That, uh, that's the one I'm gonna be, that we're all tag along in, right? Yes, sir. Yes. I know you've answered this like 30 times already, but how much is this this particular Wacom? Card? Oh, that's good. Uh, this is, um, as far as Wacom's go, this is a great price. It's six hundred and forty-nine dollars, uh, and you get a sixteen-inch display. And uh, the biggest thing for me, like I said, is this is this uh, pen. The pen is just flawless. The screen is uh, 1080, 1920 by ten eighty. Um, I'm just gonna go kind of simple on the on the rest of the body because I'm running out of time. Running out of time. It still blows my mind on how cheap that is compared to other Cintiqs. Do lions massage each other like other cats do? My cat does it sometimes. Absolutely they do. Yes. What did you say, Dustin? I was just saying that um, I'm really surprised on how how cheap that Cintiq is compared to others of its size. Oh, I know. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. Because usually they would be at least in the... Um, well, I mean, the 13-inch Pro is 800, but usually... A, Every time I hear like of a Wacom uh, Cintiq, they're usually like thirteen hundred or more. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's pretty cool. I gotta crop this out. I just want to get. I just want to. There we go. Make it easy. Take it easy on me. There we go. I want to get this done. And does this uh, work with Windows Seven? That I don't know. I'm a Mac. I'm a Mac guy. Look on the box. It should. It yeah, says it. Windows 7. It works with Windows 7, 8.1, There and you go. 10. Windows 10. Well, there you go. Yep. Ranges from 7 to 10. Doesn't work with Windows Vista. <laughs> if you're still on Windows Vista, I don't know what you're doing. What's Windows Vista? It's like the early, early... Oh. 90s windows. Well then, yeah, come on. <laughs> We're not 90s. So, so, this has been really cool. I mean, the, 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 the experience drawing on this is, uh, like I said, it, it's, it's as good, if not better, because I don't have this pen on my big Cintiq. I've got the old version. And the drawing experience with this Cintiq is absolutely incredible. You can see the subtlety um, and with the right brush, I mean, you can really have an experience like you're drawing, like you're really drawing on paper. And uh, that's one of the things I love about this product, Cintiqs in general, but um, this product is, they really achieve it really well. What does the screen uh, feel like? Is it glass or uh, or plastic? And if you drop it, will it shatter like a phone? Yes, it's glass, it's, so it'll break. Um, but it's got a coating on it that's slightly textured and it's anti-glare. So you want to be careful. You don't want to drop it. You know, not just for the glass reasons, but there's electronics inside and all kinds of stuff. So you don't want to drop it. Um, but it's... Uh, it's pretty durable. I mean, it's not like it's just going to shatter at, the, at, at any kind of whim. I'm trying to think of what the light source is going to be here. Do you think it's a big issue that it is it 4, 4K res? I don't think it is a big issue because um, it's very... The, the screen itself is already... It's pretty small. So you don't notice that it's not 4K. It's basically taking... Take, you know, a screen this big that might be... 1080 and shrink it down now it's this big which is what the screen is here but all the pixels are shrunk down with it so it tightens up so i don't notice it i don't notice that it's not 4k are you having a uh, small art block aaron no well maybe a little one <laughs> maybe a teeny tiny maybe a little one yeah i just i'm i uh I just wanted to fly through this and do something quick so we could just focus on the uh, on the Cintiq and 
I'm having trouble talking. There we go. Um, but like I said, this is really, really incredible. What I'm trying to do now is just vary up some of the uh, local color. And look how light. I can just go so light with it. That's what's amazing to me. Uh, somebody, uh, um, somebody help correct me with the, uh, with the, the, with the operating system, the, the Vista I was talking about. Uh -huh. uh, Vista was uh, Windows 7 before we had Windows 7, for the most part. Well, there you go. What's the uh, brightness and color of, like on the Wacom? Is it accurate for you or does it need uh, calibrating? It's super accurate. I don't think it needs calibrating at all. I've never had an issue with any of that ever. How does it feel when holding the tablet while drawing? When while ho holding the... Oh, okay, let me see. Feels pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> feels, feels all right. <laughs> Feels even better. You know what I mean? It's like probably like drawing on your lap or like actually <laughs> holding it up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, I I don't know. I would. <coughs> excuse me. Oh. It's a little spit coming in. There. <laughs> I uh. Don't do it. <laughs> uh, I've never held it, and uh, I don't think I will pick it up. But too many. There's wires coming out of the back. I don't want to do that. Maya writes, Aaron and Dustin are cute hosts. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. So, let's start adding some shadow in here, shall we? I'm going to keep it warm shadows today. Let's keep it like he's looking into the light. I can see the light. It's a little bright. There we go. Yes. Yes. Uh, cables are mentioned. How many cables are attached to the Wacom? One. That's what's amazing. It's one cable comes out of the back. Ooh. Okay, so there's one cable that comes out of the back right here. And off of that one cable, it splits into three. One is a power source. The other one is your, uh, the other one is your HDMI and your USB. That, the USB and the HDMI plug into your computer. The power cord obviously plugs into your power source. And you are good to go. And what's great about the, uh, the power source is that it's actually plugged into like three separate segments. And yes, it and it creates one very long cord, so so you don't really need to worry about like a, like a power extender or anything. Ed Zachary. Power extension cord. Power extender. Ed Zachary. Ed Zachary. <laughs> I had a habit of. Pulling the 21-inch Cintiqs onto my lap at school made my teachers nervous. <laughs> yeah. You could easily do that with this and not have any problem. Yeah, that's what I want to be able to to do, but the current 24 that, that I have is very weighted down. It would yeah. probably crush my legs if I tried doing it. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. There we go. So I'm adding shadow. I'm imagining the light. He's looking into the light. So he's... The, tech, the, blah, 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 the hair is creating shadow. The texture. Is this better than drawing with iPad Pro and Apple Pencil appropriate? I think it is. I think the experience here is better. I The pen... I, I love working with, a pencil, with pencil on uh, iPad Pro. And, and I think it's a good tool, uh, but I think the the, the um, Wacom pen uh, definitely out outdoes it. And I use them both. 
So don't get me wrong. But I definitely think the Wacom Pro, especially this one, the, the, the Pro is uh, far superior. The experience drawing with this is really, really great. Is there a rough date for the release of the bird course? I need to set up a countdown. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's not a rough date at this point. It'll probably be a few months. Um, as far as re uh, getting the release of the, of the uh, bird course. Um, only because I've got to get the watercolor course out. And we've got a lot of travel coming up in the next few months. That are, that's really going to hurt our um, ability to get new courses out the door right away. For what? What is the... Uh... Travel. Oh, the traveling. I've got a lot of travel coming up. We're going to be uh, in Seattle. Then we're going to be... I'm going to be in Jamaica in a couple of weeks. Teaching down there. Then Seattle. Then we're going to be in South Africa. Then we're going to be over in London. And Ireland. And Spain. Possibly Denmark. There's a lot of different places we're going to be. And we'll, when we do officially release it, we'll give, we'll give everyone a 10-second warning before the official release. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like what is, it's like, when is the bird course coming out? It's, it's out already. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just released it like five seconds ago. <laughs> Dustin, do the thing. <laughs> Aaron, do the thing. Uh, when are you going to be in Seattle? We are going to be in Seattle February uh, February 8th. Is that one just you and Nick? Uh, that might just be me. Oh, just you? Yeah, but that's going to be the weekend of February 8th, whatever that comes down to. Yeah, so the ones I'm tagging along with is the Europe tour, and that's in June? That is in April. April. I was off by two months. It was close. Not even close. That's the that's the joke. <laughs> All right. So we got a little bit of light there. And uh, where where exactly in Ireland uh, are we visiting? We're gonna be going to Dublin for sure. Dublin. And then after that, I'm not so sure. We're still working some some of the kinks out. Gotcha. Still trying to get everything figured out and, and whatnot. Yeah, and whatnot. And the Japan trip is in... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That's in June. That's in June? Yeah. Gotcha. Japan, we're going to be in Japan for 10 days in June, teaching there as well. And I'm so excited for that. Yeah. There, there we go, yes. So I love painting in shadow, creating light. What are your thoughts about the Surface Pro for drawing? Uh, I, I like it. You know, I think they're fine. That's the, that's the, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, will you come I to I think the they're Austria good. Huh? I think they're good. I think they're good. Will you come to Austria? We have an amazing zoo, zoo in Vienna. Oh, you know what? I would love to go to Austria. I can't say for sure right now. But I'd like to. So let's add some light. Let's add some light on the subject. So I'm going to set this to overlay. Let's go a little warmer. A little brighter. Maybe a little gray. I don't want to go too warm. Oh my god, did I hear South Africa? Where? When? Cape Town. Cape Town. We're going to be at the... Well, we're still working it out. It still may fall through, so don't... don't. You know, we're, we can't guarantee it. But we are definitely working on trying to get to Cape Town for the animation festival that's happening in uh, uh, early... Late February, early March. So it's still up in the air? Still up in the air. We're still pulling together uh, some of the sponsorships and that sort of thing. So like hope for the best, prepare for the, for the yes. Work. Yeah. But we are we are definitely working on it. Have you used the mobile the mobile studio walking tablets? Yes, I've got one, and uh, and I love it. 
Now, the only problem I have with them, and that's just me personally, is because I'm a Mac guy, and that's Windows-based. I struggle with that a little bit, um, but that's because I've always, I've never used anything but Mac, and I'm not a computer guy to begin with, so it's always been a little bit of a struggle. Oh, okay. In fact, half the time you're asking me for, for help with the with Windows software. Yeah, we see it all the time. I'm personally the PC guy in the, in the family. That you are. <laughs> so, now I'm just going to add a few details on here. I'm going to hit some brighter... Some brighter lights. Will you do a video with uh, Glenn Vilpu or Proco again? We, uh, in March, we're going to have Proco in the studio right here. When? In March, at the end of March. Oh, wow. Pro about yeah, Proco will be in the studio. That's gonna He's going to be in the house, baby. What's that? In the house. It's going to be in tang. Yeah, in the membrane. It's going to be good. Saying in the brain. So is he going to be here to do, um, uh, like, a, a YouTube video, or uh, are we doing live streams with him? Like, we, uh, we're a little bit of both. We're gonna. I'm doing a little course for him, and uh, but we're going to be doing probably some YouTube uh, videos as well. Is he going to do a um, a course for us as well, or is it, or is the course thing just for? It's for him right now. Gotcha. Question, when you say the power is on the back, oh, blah, 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 I just missed it. Dug on it, Nick. Sorry, I didn't see it up there. Gosh, what, have, uh, what, have, what animal have you always wanted to draw from life but have never done? Well, a great white shark. I've always wanted to draw a great white shark from life. You're going to need a bigger boat. Well, one of the things that we're going to try to do while we're in South Africa... Uh, is go cage diving with great whites. You have fun with that. Nick and I are going to try to find a way that I can draw underwater. We're going to. How we'll, is that going to work? We're going to figure it out. <laughs> when you say the power is on the back, does that mean it cannot sit flat on the table? Um, it can sit. It can sit with a, like a slight. No, it can't sit flat. It can't sit flat. It can sit with about a 10 degree, 10 degree tilt, which is almost flat. Why is it such a low price? What's the difference between this one and the Cintiq Pro 16 HD? Uh, there's about a thousand dollar difference in the price. One of the biggest differences is the pen or is the uh, resolution. The resolution on this is uh, regular. Uh, HD, it's um, 1080, 1080 uh, whereas the other one is 4K. That's a huge difference. That's one of the biggest differences right there. Um, the pens are exactly the same, which is awesome. Um, that's why I, I'm, I'm just blown away by, because it is so much cheaper. I'm sitting, I was sitting, you know, thinking I was going to notice a quality difference, um, and I really don't. And the pro version is also portable, like completely portable, correct? No. Oh, that was a monitor? Yeah. Gotcha. I keep mixing up on which which is the portables and which is not. Oh, that's okay. I'm still trying to learn here. It's the Mobile Studio Pros are the portable ones. Mobile Studio Pro. Yes. Got it. So, like, this one that... That the cat is sitting on. That's the mobile <laughs> studio pro right there. Yes. Right? The, yeah, pull that out. Excuse me, kitty. Excuse me. Sorry. I know I know this is comfortable. Uh oh, there's so much hair on it. <laughs> it's on the case. <laughs> uh -huh. All his hair. So this here is the is the Mobile Studio Pro. Right? Yes. So this this is a Mobile Studio Pro right here. And this is all self-contained. It's a computer inside there. So 
Um, this is a great little device as well. And how Jeez. much does one of those cost? Uh, I don't know what the current specs are on it right now. And this is a 13? Uh, I think that's a 16. Yeah. Pretty sure that's a 16. So I'm just going in here and adding a little reflected light. Today is really about the demonstrating the the uh, the Cintiq, which I'm just absolutely over the moon for. It's really been great. What brush are you using to color the line, and what do you, what are the settings for it? Um, I'm just using my regular sketching brush, the one I always use, and the settings are. Here are the settings right here. Shape dynamics. Everything's turned off. The texture. I've got a, a specific texture set up with it. Um, just don't mess with the settings. The settings are already pre-programmed in there. And it's in my original, uh, my original brush set, my original custom brush set on my website at creatureartteacher.com. If you go there, you'll find this brush set it's been one of our most popular brush sets along with you know buying the hair uh, hair brushes and and all of that but um this brush right here if you sign up for our newsletter uh get on our on our mailing list you'll get this brush for free free a uh, free yes you will get it for free And that's also a good segue for mentioning, um, oh, the Mobile Studio Pro 16 starts at $2,000. So there's a big price difference here. Yeah. But you got to remember, that's a self-contained computer. Yeah. This is a pen display. There's a difference. But um, uh, just want to mention, if you go to our website today and uh, you decide you want to get something... Type in Wacom 16 and you will get an extra 16% off at checkout in celebration of the new Wacom 16 that I'm demonstrating today. I might consider getting this over the Pro 16, I think. 4K is such a small screen, uh, which is pointless. Well, that's you've got a very, very good point. Who wrote that? That's a very good point. Uh, that is Art of Zod. Okay, Art of Zod. That's a really great point. If you're already on a somewhat small screen, then 4K, it really does, in my opinion, it, it's, a, it's a little... Yeah, it is a kind of a little pointless. And... Um, uh, that's why I'm, you know, I'm working in 1920, 1080 by 1920 right now. Yeah. And I don't even, it, it, I don't notice it. I mean, it's, it's, it's as high a resolution as I need. Yeah, the 13 inch of the Mobile Studio Pro uh, is $1,700 on Amazon right now. Okay. Right on. Got right it. On. And uh, so I just signed up uh, on the site, and I haven't seen the the brush yet. Nick, do the thing. <laughs> Nick, do the thing. <laughs> I don't know when it comes through. Nick will take care of that. Who is it? Refer uh, uh, right to us. Uh, right to uh, uh, support at creatureartteacher.com. Get you set up there. Nick will do the thing. <laughs> Nick, do the thing. It's Nick Birch's birthday, by the way, everybody. And uh, did you already answer that YouTube question that Nick wrote? Yes. Okay. Just want to double check. For those of you that don't know, it is my business partner, Nick Birch, and partner in crime... It is his birthday today. 
I hate it when people don't tell you it's their birthday and then you don't remember. You don't live with them. And then they don't mention it and they think, oh, he forgot. I bet Nick's pulling one of those on me. Now I got to drive all the way to Sarasota tonight. I got to tie one on with Nick and then drive all the way back home. Hung over. So are your brushes uh, compatible with uh, Photoshop CS3 or previous? That one I'm not sure. Nick knows knows those answers better than me. Now you got to keep in mind most of my brushes I've done you know later. They're later model brushes, so. Nick, answer the uh, the thing. <laughs> But after I oh man, happy birthday, Nick! Yeah. And Vedanta's we're, we're she's in the hot bed, hot seat worse than me because she's your sister-in-law. She should know. You and I have only been friends for like six years. <laughs> Aaron, how recent is this uh, Cintiq 16? I can't find it on German Amazon yet. It's not out yet in uh, in Germany. So it's it, it literally came out today in the United States. Comes out next week in Canada, and then shortly after that in the rest of the world. So unfortunately, you can't get it in Germany yet, but it it'll be there soon. And I I'm telling you, it's awesome. What you need to do for Nick is to bake him a cake. Oh, yeah. I'll bake him my favorite cake. That way I can eat it, too. <laughs> because I always want my cake and eat it, too. Or I'll draw him a cake. Somebody else writes. That's not as fun. <laughs> what good is a drawn cake? I don't know. It tastes like paper. Yeah. It's all drawn out. <laughs> <laughs> so this is really cool. I'm getting really neat little details. Um, this is awesome. I'm going to get in here and do some eye detail. Next month in Canada. Sorry, not next week. I screwed that up. I'm always... I'm such a screw-up. It's next month in Canada, folks. Sorry. Next month. Martin Berger writes, plot twist. <laughs> Nick doesn't have a birthday today, but he's trolling Aaron. <laughs> yeah. No, it's his birthday. I know it is. Just forgot. Yep, I forgot. I hate me. I hate me. Isn't the cake a lie? Yes, the cake is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a video game portal reference. Oh. There's a bot. There's a uh, basically an overseeing robot that loves cake and finds out that in the end that the cake was a lie. <laughs> I see. Uh, what are you doing when you come to London? I am teaching a class for Bobby Chu. <laughs> Can I have a piece of cake and that Wacom? <laughs> no. no. I'm teaching a class for Bobby Chu, and I think we're talk giving a lecture as well. Um, somewhere, I can't remember. Nick is setting up the details, as Nick does perfectly. Always. And what's the brush you're currently using again? <laughs> this is my brush I always use. This is number seven in my uh, original custom brush set. This is brush number seven. I use this for everything. I made this brush a couple of years ago and really fell in love with it and it's all I use now. 
Is there going to be more, uh, some more information uh, about lectures in Dublin or in Spain? I really want to go to one, but can't find it anywhere. Yeah, well, we don't have anything published yet. As soon as we know for sure where we're going to be, and if it's public, then we will put it out there. you got to realize some of the stuff that I do, I'm hired privately, and it's not always open for the public. But uh, if, if, uh, if we have opportunities that are public... Um, the, like the, the thing that we're trying to set up in Cheshire um, in July at the castle, we're trying to make uh, at least part of that event public. And Stephen Coleman writes, guess whose birthday is tomorrow? It's not Steve's, is it? Is Steve and Nick one day apart? I guess. No, he's pulling my leg. You're pulling my leg. Pull the leg. Hey, and, Steve, uh, pull the leg. <laughs> Nick, pull the leg. So here I'm just having some fun with color and light. And character. Oh, it looks like Nick um, posted the... Uh, uh, London event information. I don't see it on my end. What's on Facebook? Oh, gotcha. Oh, for Bobby Chu? It's Steve, Steve right. No, it's true. For, it's birthday. Steven's birthday? Yeah, tomorrow. Is it really? Yeah, I, I completely forgot they're a day apart. Evidential right after right. Happy almost birthday, Steve. Hey, Steve, you're fired. <laughs> but it's your birthday, so you're rehired. Where did that Happy joke birthday, come? Steve. <laughs> Where did that joke come from, anyways? I don't know. <laughs> I Steven, have... you're fired. You know what? You're rehired. <laughs> Where did that come from? We're idiots. <laughs> yeah, Steve writes, Nick and I are twins. <laughs> All right. And uh, Kent Barney asks, uh, where else can I find your work? Uh, have you illustrated work for children? Uh, you can see my work uh, if you watch The Lion King, Beauty and the Beast, Pocahontas, Mulan, Brother Bear. A lot of my stuff, that, through the 90s, that's where, I, that's where most of my work was done, is at Disney. And uh, since then, I've kind of gone off and gone independent. It's going to create a little texture back here. And uh, and that's what I do now. I'm just kind of, I like to teach. So that's what we're doing nowadays. Just teaching. Teaching, teaching. Having a good time teaching. Having some fun with this texture and the color. There we go. I like that. This is a very quick little sketch today, but uh, having some fun with it. And I do, my granddaughter is going to be here very, very soon. Don't forget the lion's whiskers. Oh, yeah. Good idea. So my granddaughter is going to be here very soon. So I got to get off the get off the horn here. You also got off the phone. I did. <laughs> I did. You get caught off me. The phone. There we go. But uh, once again, this is a the Wacom Cintiq 16 that I'm demonstrating today, out brand new in the United States next month in Canada and soon after that in the rest of the world and uh, it is an amazing drawing experience six hundred forty nine dollars uh, in my opinion very affordable for what you get and uh, I've really enjoyed drawing on it and demoing it for you guys today um, it's just a really wonderful piece of equipment um, there we go 
Maybe Yellowstone National Park. Yeah. <laughs> Teton National Park. It's grand. And uh, Nolan Taylor asks, uh, can I plug your Creature Art Teacher uh, link in my own live streams? Please do. That would be awesome if you could. Thank you. What's your opinion on the Cintiq Companion uh, for people on the go? Is it too small uh, for work in general? My Intuos Pro of five years is on its last legs and looking to transition properly to a screen tablet. Uh, is there a big transition? And cheers, Aaron. You're amazing. Oh, thanks. Um, you know, it it, I think it really just comes down to taste. I know that's kind of a cop-out answer. But, um, you know, I like... I like my uh, companion okay. Um, I tend not to use it that much though. I um, but you know now that I've got this this Cintiq, it would see when I'm away from my desk, I tend to just go traditional. I bring you know paint and paper and 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 whatnot. Of whatnot. <laughs> but um, uh, but when I'm um, at home, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much digital unless I'm purposely working, you know, to do some kind of traditional piece of art. Now, uh, now that I've got this, I might go a little bit more digital all the time, especially when I leave home. Um, but this isn't, this isn't like a companion. This is just a regular pen display. So it really depends on what you're used to and what you want to go, you know, what's, what's important for you. And uh, Nick has a few more comments for you twitch how do you improve creativity wow that's a big question uh you do it the way you improve creativity is you do creativity you don't get better at anything unless you do it a lot and that includes creativity and the only way to get better at it obviously is to do it just do it do it. Do, do it. Do it. <laughs> and uh, that's the only way you're going to get better at it. And um, I know it's, that's another, I mean, there's no secret answer. YouTube, oh, YouTube comment, comment. I reckon the lion should have a party hat for next birthday party. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. No. <laughs> I, I could do that. I could do, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I, just, I just don't feel like it. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> I could, but no. I could. I could do that, but I'm not going to. <laughs> oh, what am I doing here? Let's see. And uh, for newcomers, is the tablet of. Uh, does the tablet produce any heat? Like, does it get hot at all? It does not get hot at all. That's one of the things I love about this thing. Nice and cool to the touch. Yes. Uh, yeah. Cool to the touch. Cool to the touch, dude. Dude. <laughs> 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 to the touch, dude. Have you seen the new Mary Poppins yet? No. I have like not. A definite nope, like not going to. No, no, I just haven't seen it. Oh. No, I've got a lot of friends that worked on it. I want to in the animation section. When do you go go see it? Can I join Ken you? Duncan Studios? They they worked on a lot of the animation. I think they're they they were the main studio in the animation section, and uh, they those guys are brilliant over there. Got some great friends over there, and I'd love to see what they did for the movie. When you when you go see, can I join you? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you? Of course you can. Why are you asking me that? Well, it was just the past couple of movies I wanted to go see with you again. Oh, shut up! Stop <laughs> giving me that little whiny sob story. Oh, I wanted to see that. I you know, see with you. you. <laughs> okay. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Does the Cintiq 16 have a uh, tilt Is she sensor? Here? She's here. What's that? Hi. A tilt sensor? Yeah. 
Does it have a tilt center? I don't know if it... How important is this, uh, really? I don't know what that is. Tilt center, you know, like gyros, like... No, it doesn't have that. So I'm going to have to call this done because my granddaughter just got here. So let's do this. I'm going to... Yeah, let's just do a little bit of... Uh, the Bancroft's worked on it too, correct? On the Mary Poppins. Um, maybe, probably. I don't know. I'm sure they did. And how is this compared to the iPad Pro? I I like it better. But the iPad, the iPad Pro is self-contained. This is not self-contained. So you got to take, you know, it's, it's, you got to, you know, there's advantages and disadvantages to oh, both. and Nick wrote on the, um, on the Facebook, yes, it does have a tilt oh, sensor. Oh, tilt sensor in the pen. Okay, that's what, okay, I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention to what you're talking about. I wasn't listening. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> All right, I'm just yeah, gonna add a little bit of warmth. Meant the, meant the tilt sensor, so yeah, it does have. Yes, it does in the pen. Have, have they improved that particular sensor, or is it the is it very same design as previous uh, pens? That I can't tell you. Yeah, I'm just warming them up, warming them up, warming them up. Right, it totally looks got like scar. I feel like this it doesn't be... totally look like Scar. It, it looks the, like think... Scar because he has got a long face. If you compared yeah. Scar to this guy, they don't look like Scar. I think that's why people are saying, <laughs> Just saying. Like Scar because they have long, the long face. Hey, what's the long face? <laughs> I think this is like if Scar was a good guy, basically. Maybe. Maybe. Let me go a little dark like that. Darken that right up. Look at that. Ooh, we're getting some nice glow in there. Look at that glow. Oh, whiskers. All right, this is nothing like Scar. More like King Richard from Robin Hood. Yeah. Actually, you're not too far off. Right up there. A prequel to Scar before he was Scar. <laughs> yeah, before he got scarred. Yeah. It's Simba on the diet. Whiskers always come out too even or unnatural looking. How do you do it? I don't make them even or unnatural looking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just try to keep it as I try to keep it as spontaneous as I can. I just really try to keep them spontaneous. That's really the key. Um, all right. Hey Daniel, no, I have not seen Spy uh, the Spider Man movie yet, and I want to at some point. Uh, lion noses are actually rounded, right? Uh, not pointy as many people draw them. Exactly. So I, I gave them kind of a, a mix in between of rounded and pointy. Kind of like a dull point. Yes. That's not what I was looking for. That's what I'm looking for right there. Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Where the heck is it? There it is. Yep, that's it. There's a foliage brush that I use to soften edges. Look at this. Watch, watch this. Ooh, look at that. Look how it softens the edges right up. When I put it in with my smudge tool. It works really well. Can I ask how old the granddaughter is? And does she draw along with you? 
No, she's a year and a half. She doesn't draw with me yet, but she will, or I'm going to break her fingers. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> no, she's she's just she's just starting out. She is she is showing a, an interest in drawing though. And the the nib on the on the pen is it a black nib or a white uh, soft? This nib? is a black nib, and it I'm I haven't found the need to change it out because the glass is so well textured. So I'm just softening a little bit of edges there and now I'm going to go in one last thing and do this. I'm going to go to, uh, I got to grab my brush, go to color dodge, knock the opacity down to about 5%, which is fine. I'm going to grab a nice warm yellow and then I'm going to grab a airbrush and I'm just going to go in here and burn in a couple of areas just get them nice and hot look at that ooh the sun is shining on them oh wait let the sun shine in what's that are you able to uh import photoshop brushes into tv paint uh photoshop brushes into tv paint yeah some of them I, I i know there's a way to do something like that and they've been working on it but i'm not sure if uh if they've gotten it all the way through yet some people are saying that this device is already showing up for order in some countries in Europe. Well, if that's the case, that's awesome. Twitch question. Do you use layer masks? I don't. Also, in the future, will you be doing one-on-one -on -one lessons? I don't. I will not. Not necessarily one-on-one, -on -one, but we are looking to do more uh, workshop, which is going to be one-on-one-on-20. One on one-on-20 which, <laughs> which, plus. <laughs> But, I mean, there will be some one-on-one -on -one teaching within the workshops, so, yeah. Maybe, like, special VIPs or something. Yeah. Like... So, there's our, there's our lion for the day. Um, our quick sketch, my, my go-to that I always do when I don't know what else to draw. But, um, anyway, I wanted to demonstrate this and uh, show you guys, you know, this is a really cool... Entry level, I wouldn't even call it entry level because I, I, I'm going to be using it all the time. Um, affordable Cintiq, $649. Um, I really love the drawing experience. It's been really great. Um, I, don't, I don't have anything negative to say. I, uh, I love its portability. It's lightweight. It's easy to hook up. Um, the drawing experience, like I said, is really great. The pen uh, is extremely sensitive. Uh, remember, 8,192 levels of sensitivity, so you can get really light in there and just have, you know, have a really great time drawing. And so, uh, and like I said, we've got the stand on the back. That comes extra, 79 bucks, and you've got the stand, and you can move it up and down. And uh, let's see here. I can move it way up like so and get it almost straight up and down like that. It definitely looks dark on the screen, but that's only because of the angle. If I were to turn this more towards the uh, the camera it might be a little bit lighter but um, go to the go to the screenshot Dustin uh, screenshot yeah yeah so you can see it's a bit lighter uh, on the screenshot uh, but anyway uh, go to our website creatureartteacher.com anything you get today put in the extra discount uh, the code Wacom W A C O M one six Welcome 16 and you'll get 16% off any of your purchase and um, and get out there check out if you're in the market for a new pen display I really really recommend this and I'm not saying it once again I want to reiterate I'm not being paid by Wacom this is just something that I wanted to do because I, I really love their products and uh, uh, and we thought it'd be a lot of fun to demo it today and so that's what we've done and um, and I love it so if you're in the market this is a great price for a really decent sized, uh, really professional uh, pen display unit. So check it out. And uh, we're going to be back again on Thursday, like we always are. And uh, until then, uh, go out there, put some beauty back in the world. I'm going to go play with my squealing granddaughter and uh, put some beauty back in the world. Maybe use a Wacom 16 to do it. Who knows? Put your grocery cart away and Dustin. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>
had to take him up. <laughs> See you guys. Come with me, Bob. <laughs>